Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a fun black and gold tutorial for you guys. As you can see, I've definitely packed in some really good tutorials for you guys. I am currently six months pregnant, so I did a lot of filming so I would keep in the groove, let's just say that. So I didn't want my channel to die because I got pregnant. Um, so that's why you see quite a few of my nail designs being the same as I do these. So I am taking gold buttercream and I put it all over that ring finger and then I am just adding it to the tip of the pinky and the pointer finger. And again, I'm not building up these nails because as you know by now, if you're a follower, I don't like filing these guys. So I just put the tips on and I'm putting the buttercreams on top of it. So pretend it's a finished file nail. And now we are taking black tie. Clearly black tie is absolutely going to be one of my favorites this fall and winter because I'm ready for it. I'm just so ready for dark nails. It is September 6th when I'm actually doing this voiceover and when I filmed it. So needless to say, I, I'm prepping a lot, okay? I am trying to not let this go. So again, I put that black tie and then I come in with just a slightly thicker coat to fill in anything that might be a little shadowed. You can kind of see up in that corner where I'm now going over that it was a little bit see-through. So you can do two coats of this or one. It's a practice hand for me. So I just did one coat and that was it. So you can kind of see I place my brush down and then move it to the side to get those cuticles as clean as possible. So I'm not worried about the color here, clearly because I get it on the skin twice because it's coming. Yep, there it is. Um, I am looking for that smooth cuticle. That is the most important thing with doing nails is cuticle work and making your cuticle look good, okay? That is the most important. So again, then I come in with that second coat. Again, not cured to darken up that skin. Skin, oh Lord, it's because I just looked at it. <laughs> it's because I want to darken up that nail. So again, we are going to take it on the pointer because we are doing, it's not an ombre, don't worry, I don't leave it like this. I use a gold glitter, my favorite in the world, Joan Crawford. So I wanted to put the base coat, but the black is just going to be black. So. You could have done the black first and then faded the gold. You, you actually probably would have been better. But for me, since I use a color brush, I like to start with the lightest color, unless I have to start with a darker color, to not get that color in the darker color. I hope that makes sense, or the lighter color. That doesn't make sense at all. I don't wanna cross contaminate my colors because it's too dark and then I go light. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? It's hard. So now I'm taking Joan Crawford. So as you will see, I primarily start in the middle and then since again, we're gonna do two layers, so don't worry. I start in the middle, push down, and then I drag it down with what is a little bit on my brush and that way I can get kind of that faded look without having such harsh lines. We will do two coats because if you try to do it all in one coat, A, it will be super bulky because things are moving and you can't get it to go where you want it to go, but it's okay. You get there, I promise you. If you do two coats, especially on this nail, this nail can be quite, um, a to do because it's a solid gold glitter. But this glitter is shards, which I love. Again, I keep majority of the bulk in the center of the nail and I kind of push it out to the edge because what you're gonna see is the center of the nail majority. That, that word, it's fine. Um, and by doing that, you're leaving the bulk in the center where your apex would be, because I would initially 
go in with this and then encapsulate and then file. So that's the best part about this is if you keep it in the middle, you actually won't have to build up the nail as much, which is always a good thing for me. <laughs> Building up the nails and then taking it all off can be quite a pain. So if you keep it thin, then when you're building it up, it's not gonna be a big deal. I'm telling you, work in layers. Layers are your friend. I love layers. Again, we put it down, grabbing a little bit more, coming in with the middle, because again, your bulk wants to stay in the middle, not on the edges and not on the tip. And we're fading it down. And I love this gold. This is my favorite gold glitter from Light Elegance. And it's just magical. So the best part about this is that you get to place it where you want. You don't have to work super fast like acrylic. You literally can place it where you want. Now we're coming in with our second coat and again, placing it in the middle and then fading it towards the edge or pushing it. Fading it might not be the right term here, but now you can see that harsh black and gold line that we had is gone because it's covered in chunky gold goddess goodness deliciousness although i wouldn't recommend eating this stuff <laughs> um and now i'm just fading it down because again i want that impact of that gold the gold is the shiny star here i want that gold to stand out so that's why I made sure there was plenty of gold on each of the nails. And I realized I didn't actually push the gold far enough back on this one. So I just kind of put a quick slip layer down um, to kind of add a little bit more. And then again, going to the middle. And then you'll see I actually forced quite a bit of this specific layer down the middle and then towards the back. So... I want to get it close to the cuticle, but since these are shards, it's not going to look right. Um, that's why I put that gold glitter under, or gold buttercream under. So you don't have to worry about getting every single spot or not having it look smooth. Does that make sense? Because like you can see, even on these guys, like the ones that I'm doing now, the pointer and the pinky, that you will see the gold on the side because you're not gonna want a whole bunch of glitter down the side. Again, I'm a broken record. You wanna keep it in the middle because that's where your apex is going to be and that's where you can hide most of your bulk. I can't stress that enough, obviously, because I've said it like 8 million times now. So now we are just moving it where you want it to go and I love this stuff. It's just so easy to work with. And I think by the gel not being acrylic, obviously it, it gives you time to work exactly where you want each of the glitters to go. So that's why I love it. So now we're coming in with some top coat. I actually drip top coat on another finger and yeah, it's okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.